أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Today we continue with our series on Ramadan We will tackle four features of fasting By looking into fasting we find the following Number one is that we have the uh, 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 disciplining of ourselves through abstinence. This is very clear and apparent in fasting, that we abstain from things. Throughout the months of Ramadan, we abstain from food and drink and our desires. And of course, we abstain from uh, unlawful things as well. Uh, this reminds us of the situations that when someone is not feeling well, is advised by doctors and specialists to abstain from certain foods or certain practices to get healthier. Ramadan is there to bring ourselves back to track, back to the way it should be by abstaining from certain practices, especially like eating and drinking and practicing our own desires, to put us back into track. This is every day of Ramadan until our body or ourselves get used to that so we can apply the same after Ramadan. And this is a very essential part of our fasting, is to abstain, abstaining from halal. And this should remind us that we abstain from halal, we'd better abstain from haram. And we'd better discipline ourselves through that lesson. Or through that practice. The second one is <clears throat> to, um, so first one is abstaining, is discipline ourselves through abstinence. The second feature of fasting is to bring reasoning and uh, our mind before our own desires. It shouldn't be our desires that leads us all the time. In fact, it should never be our leader we should always go back to the reason and our beliefs. It should be taken into account all the time so we are not uh, indulged uh, blindly in our own whims and desires. That is another important feature or another important lesson in Ramadan or in fasting. Every day, every day we practice that. So through this uh, uh, one month of, of, of training, uh, one, a whole camp, of 29 or 30 days of training to bring these back uh, to our life is to discipline ourselves through abstinence is to bring reason and faith and uh, faith uh, forward the second or uh, the third feature is to uh, 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 bring the faith our belief and trust of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our primary uh, uh, motive to do to, to fast or to do things in life. This is to remind us all the time that we do it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, do this or don't do that. Allah has said, fast, it's good for you. Pray, it's good for you. Give charity, it's good for you. For you and for your society, for your uh, uh, world, for your life and so on. So practicing the orders or the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to apply that belief that we have. Because always belief should be followed by good actions. Amanu wa amilu salihat. So that's what we learn also from fasting, is that we, because we believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is why we do that. We trust Allah, <clears throat> that means we trust Him, that we do it, and we ex also trust His promise, that we will get return, we will get the most out of that in this world and in the hereafter. And the fourth feature or the first lesson is that at the end we, re we receive the gifts from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We, 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 we harvest, uh, we reap the fruits of our actions. And we see that at the end of each day and at the end of Ramadan. It, at the end of each day, we break our fast and we are happy. We achieved uh, what is meant to happen is we uh, fast the whole day and then we break our fast. And 
On top of all of that, at the end of Ramadan, we celebrate the end of or the completion of our ta'a or our fasting by celebrating the Eid. That means we harvest or we reap the fruits of our actions. This is very important. These four things, four features, very important to, to pay attention in Ramadan. That first is we discipline ourselves through abstinence, through abstaining from things. The second one is to bring reason and faith forward before our whims and desires. The third one is the, that believing in Allah and trusting him is our main motive to do things. And the last one is that we celebrate the fruits. We reap the fruits of all of that. This is very essential. We see it every day and we see it in the, at the end of Ramadan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to the straight path. May Allah uh, uh, help us to fast and accept it from us and reward us for that. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallillahumma wa barik ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.